Hey, welcome to Edisto Beach State Park at the Environmental Learning Center on Big Bay Creek. My name is Thomas, and we're going to be talking about one of the fiercest, most violent predators in the marshes around here, the mantis shrimp. Despite the name, this cranky crustacean is neither shrimp nor a praying mantis. It actually gets its name from its front appendages that look like the arms of a praying mantis. The kind that we have around the marshes of the coastal South Carolina tend to grow up to 12 inches long. It may not look like much, but it can punch way above its weight class. So mantis shrimp species are split into two different groups. Mantis shrimp that have spear-like claws that they use to spear their prey, or mantis shrimp that have club-like arms that they use to basically box their prey into submission. But just how effective is the weaponry on the mantis shrimp? The speed and ferocity of these little predators gives them almost the reputation of being the honey badgers of the sea, where they're capable of taking on prey almost their size and predators almost with, almost four times as large as they are. So you get an idea of how quick the mantis shrimp is strike is. We're gonna watch it in real time. Did you see it? No! No! Oh! And because of that, they're often known as the thumb splitter. You see mantis shrimp use their front arms to stab prey with lightning fast reflexes and can easily give predators a reason not to mess with these little stomatopods. Worldwide, there are more than 450 species of mantis shrimp known. The combination of speed and force created by these crustaceans is more than capable of breaking through any crab shell or any mollusk's shell. This force has even been known to break through aquarium glass. And the force created through this strike is equivalent to that of a 350 pound baby elephant being dropped. Another key adaptation of the mantis shrimp is its vision. They have four times as many photoreceptors as us and three eyes per eye stop. Incredible speed, dangerous cutlery, and incredibly powerful vision make this pint-sized predator a force to be reckoned with. Thank you for watching this week's Tidbit Tuesday. Make sure to visit us here at the Edisto Beach State Park Environmental Learning Center. We're open Tuesday through Saturday, 9 a.m. to 4 p.m. We look forward to seeing you.